Hey boys and girls, we are Three Angels for Kids and this is episode seven of 13 action-packed programs about the Three Angels messages. And you know, I think God planned it this way because we are on episode seven and we are going to be talking about the seventh day of the week. Isn't that wonderful? I hope you have your Bibles ready, your crayons and paper and pencils, so we can get started. I'm Dr. Sandy. I'm Miss Yvette. I'm Don. And I'm Kylie. I'm Jaren. And I'm Joseph. And we're... Three, Three Angels for Kids! Let's start our program today with prayer. Our dear Creator Jesus, it has been so amazing to study about your handiwork. I pray that you'll be with us today as we learn about the joy of keeping the Sabbath. We love you, dear Jesus. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we're ready to sing our song, our theme song. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. Let's take a look at your pictures now. And I see you have some beautiful shells here. What, is, what does a whelk shell have to do with the first angel's message? Anyone have an idea on that? Hmm. Um, Because the whelk shells maybe go on the sea and they need water. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't okay. Know. it's part of God's creation, right? Yeah. Okay, you know what I think we should do? I think we should see if all of you can say the first angel's message. Do you think you can say the whole thing? Yes. yes. All right, all right, I'm gonna say one, two, three, go, and let's see how you do. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Fear God and give glory for the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and the springs of water. Oh, wow. And oh, I think you had a special way of learning it, right? Would you like to teach the boys and girls at home how you memorized sure. it? Well, I memorized it like this. Well, fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come. Worship Him who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and the springs of water. <laughs> that is so great. That's you and your mom beautiful. came up with that? Yes. I love that. I love that. Okay, let's turn to the text now. Yes. And get started on All today. All right, boys and girls, let's open your Bibles today to Psalm 34, verse 3. Psalm 34, verse 3. And today, I'm going to ask Kylie if she would read that for us. Psalm 34, verse 3. Psalm 34, verse 3. And it says, Tell the greatness of the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. Oh, Amen. isn't that nice? Isn't that <laughs> nice? We're going to talk a little bit about the greatness of the Lord, and we're going to talk a little bit more about sea creatures. I love talking about sea creatures. And I want to tell you about a day that I went to the beach, and I was at a special beach. I had not been to that beach before. And I was walking in the water, and I felt something under my foot. Hmm. Now, I was a little nervous because it could have been a big <laughs> crab. And I was like, should I pick it up or not, you know? I was curious, but I was a little scared because I couldn't see because it was kind of partway under the sand. Hmm. And I said, well, I'm a little afraid to pick it up. So I kept walking and I felt another one. And it didn't feel like anything I had ever felt. I've been to the beach a lot. <laughs> but it didn't feel like anything I had ever felt. Hmm. But. I was curious, but I was scared. What do you think won out, my curiosity or my scaredness? Curiosity. My curiosity did, and I found something that I knew a lot about before, but I had never seen one in the wild. Mm. I had never seen a live one. It looked totally, totally different. I was so excited, so I took my cell phone. 
and I, I, I got out of the water with the thing that you don't know what the thing is <laughs> yet. <laughs> and I went to my beach chair and I took a little cell phone video. So I want to show you what I found. So let's take a look now. You can look at the screen back here and uh, let's take a look at what I found. Okay, you see that? You know what that is? Anybody have any idea what that is that I found? A sand dollar? It is a sand dollar. You figured it out. That's a live sand dollar. Have you ever seen a live sand dollar? No. I had not, so I was very excited. You see how on a starfish you have little tentacles on the side of a starfish? Well, the sand dollar has those same tentacles all the way around the side. So I want to show you some uh, real sand dollars here. And we can have a couple of them. You can put two for the boys over here, but let's show our boys and girls at home as well. So when you find a sand dollar on the beach, what you're finding is kind of like the shell part, you see? But the live sand dollar looks like the one I saw. So I was quite excited. You know, God has made so many wonderful things, and we have some other exciting things to show you here that, <laughs> that God has made that I'm gonna start passing around. This, you can find these in all different sizes, really large ones and really small ones. But this is a little, what do we have here? What is that called? You know what this is called, anybody? No, it kind of looks like a... Oh, shoe crab. Mm. Haven't seen these before? Oh, good, then you're gonna be excited when I pass this around. <laughs> be careful, because it's delicate. But this is a horseshoe crab. That's a horseshoe crab. Uh, let's see what else I have here. Oh, this is a really, really exciting thing too. You can catch these when you're fishing and they actually change shape. Ouch, this is, this is actually poking me. So this is a puffer fish. Have you ever gone fishing in the, ouch, ouch, ouch. The puffer ship is upside down. <laughs> That's its little mouth, oh, see? Wow. So when you go fishing, if you catch one of these, it's flat. And then God put a mechanism into this puffer fish that it blows itself up with these spiky things. And then if you, so when you catch it, and when you throw it back in the water, you see it actually deflate. Mm -hmm. turn so. There we go. Turn it over. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Um, girls, you wanna pass that horseshoe crab so the boys can see that. I have a few more things. All righty. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, wow, I got all kinds of things. This is a sponge. Do you know that I live next to the sponge capital of the world at Tarpon Springs, Florida? And I just, I can pick up sponges on the beach. So you can pass that. And I have, you guys are gonna love this. God is amazing. This is a shark jaw. You like that? <laughs> I think that's some kind of small shark that's only like four feet long. Okay, okay, yeah, this is not a huge shark. I didn't want to tackle a huge shark. <laughs> okay, and when you get the things, then pass them to the other people, and I'll get quickly. And Miss Yvette, if you want to start passing some things of yours around, um, I have some coral, finding coral on the beach there. Yeah, pass that sponge, pass these two things down. We have a starfish. Okay. Oh, and here's a I have a sea too. urchin. So God just different. makes so many amazing Fine. things. And we're going to just finish up passing some things around. And then we actually have some video footage of Jaron and his sister Tania going and looking at some sea creatures themselves. So after we look at a few things here, we can take a look at that. All right, I'm sure all of you know what this is. Yes. Ah, yes. what is it? A starfish. Star this is a starfish. And it's interesting. I see his one of his one of the little legs of the starfish is, is here in the bag. But what happens when one breaks off? Do you know? It will grow back. That's right. That's right, Joseph. It will grow back again. Here, let's pass that down. And then um, you will pass it so that the girls can see it. Ah, oh, well, it looks like you have one. Dr. Sandy, oh, yours is a little different. I have mine a has sea urchin, but yours right. still has and the spikes on it. And mine still has the spikes on it. So this is a sea urchin. Oh, I remember being in the ocean and seeing one of these stepping on oh, one I of these. Oh, I stepped on them. Believe yes, me. Yes, I stepped on I one stepped of I stepped on one and Pastor Eric had to get his multi-tool from the truck and pull oh, it out of my goodness. big toe. <laughs> well, you know, when you look very closely at the sea urchin, it almost looks like the top of the sand dollar. You oh, see? yeah, it does. The same markings. I don't know That's if the interesting. boys and girls at home can see that. The same markings that you see 
on the sand dollars there on the sea urchin. Let's pass that this way. Okay, and you can All pass right. some of those other ones that way. And I have There's no end to looking at God's creation. That's right. I'll just bring one more. This like is just, I, I brought this so that we could see the markings. This is a turtle that was in the water, but these are just the markings, just to see how detailed and how amazing God's creation is. Let's pass that down. We'll, did this go all the way down? Yes. All right. Oh. And we see some other starfish. This is wonderful. All right. Okay. So we've been talking about God's handiwork. Yes. Yes. So let's take a look now at some little videos of Jaron and his sister Tania enjoying some sea creatures. Let's look here on our screen. Hi, my name is Jaron and I am 11 years old. I am so happy to be part of the Three Angels for Kids team. It was really fun when we got to take a special field trip over this summer. My sister and I took a long car ride to get to the aquarium, but when we finally arrived, it was so worth it. Everybody just kept pointing at everything to make sure no one missed out. God is so good. He made such a special world for all of us to enjoy. One of my favorite ocean animals is the manta ray. Manta rays are very smart. They also are the biggest type of rays in the world. An average manta ray can be 23 feet wide. There are two types of manta rays. They are the reef manta ray and the giant oceanic manta ray. Manta rays have two horn-shaped fins that gave them the nickname, the devil fish. They can swim up to 26 miles per hour. I like that it looks like they are flying through the water. The first angel tells us to worship the Lord, who made heavens, earth, and the seas of water. Amen to that. Hi, I'm Tania. That's me in the purple shirt with my brother, Jaron. We were so excited to join our friends to visit God's amazing underwater creatures. As you can see, I even brought my Kindle with me so I could get some pictures and videos of everything, especially the dolphins. God designed the dolphin with many fascinating features. Dolphins breathe air because they are mammals. Dolphins can swim 25 miles per hour and they love to swim in pods. They are one of the most playful creatures in the world. They can jump 20 feet out of the water. They eat fish, such as mackerel. They also eat squid and octopus. Dolphins' average weight is 1,400 pounds. I love being out in God's nature. I can't wait to see what I will discover next. All right, wasn't that amazing? Isn't yes. God's nature amazing? Oh my goodness, God is wonderful. Well, you have your journals. Let's see if we can write down just a few things that God made. In our journal today, it's going to be different. I want you to write at the top, God made it all. God made it all. All. That's what you're writing at the top of the page. Good job, everyone. God made it all. And today, it's interesting because I just want you to list five things that God made. So you're just going to list. Number one, write something that God made. Two, all the way to five. I want you to write five, Any things, five things that God made. Any five whether it's the ocean or anything else in creation. We saw a lot of things right. today. So we saw a lot of things. You could write yeah. some of the things that we actually saw. And today. boys and girls at home, you pick any five things. You That's think right. of your own five things and write them down. All right. Five things that God created. Yeah, we have something really special at the end of the episode today. So I'm not sure we're going to have time for the quiz. Right. We're going to skip the quiz today because we're doing something very special. Yeah, we'll surprise you with that. Oh, wow. I see Kylie has fish, tree, frog. What do you have over there, Dawn? Do you have anything? What do you have written down? 
animals. You can read Water. it. Yeah, like animals and humans. Oh, animals and humans. Yes, <laughs> that's right. That's those yeah, are good tigers. ones. <laughs> yeah, what do we have going on? All right, there? we have a tiger, we have water, we have trees and animals. Nice. All very, right. Very nice. Okay. So much in our world. <laughs> yeah. That God created. That's great. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up making our list because it's going to be time to do our drawing. And I thought you might like to draw a dolphin today. So you're going to draw it right here on this right side of the page and we're going to when you draw you're going to start on the left side when i drew that believe it or not i started with the tail instead <laughs> of the head so let's get ready to do our drawing now here we go and i'll give you your All crayons right. so we're starting on the tail i tried this one several times and every time i practiced it i wasn't happy and then when i started with the tail i finally got the shape that i was happy with so we're starting with the tail, and boys and girls at home, you draw right along with us, and don't get frustrated if you feel like you're not keeping up. That's okay, you can go over to our YouTube channel for Three Angels for Kids, and you can link into our YouTube channel from our website, Three Angels for Kids, and you can stop and start these as often as you like. Okay, we're going, we're going very fast today because we wanna have time for our very special celebration at the end. So I don't want anybody to get flustated, <laughs> right? That's what my little boy used to say. I'm flustated, so we don't want anybody frustrated. Let me pronounce it correctly. But we're going very fast, so we don't expect you to keep up. So please understand that. Don't think there's something wrong with you if you're not keeping up. You're not expected to. We want you to go to our YouTube channel and pull up the video of the dolphin and work on that when you have a little time. So that's why we're moving a little fast today. But amazingly, it looks like our kids are moving right along with it. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're not only creating artists, we're creating speed artists. <laughs> Maybe someday that will come in handy. Maybe someday you're going to have to make a really quick picture and you're going to be able to do it. Look at you. Beautiful, beautiful. And Dawn is working away over there. Nice. How are the boys doing over there? Oh, they're doing a great job. Are they? You should see these dolphins. Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow. Almost look like they could jump off the page. They look so realistic. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then we're going to put the, the gray on the top. Uh, but we had a wonderful time when we took our field trip. Oh, we sure did. Yeah, it it's beautiful. so nice to go to a place and you're mm -hmm. looking at God's creation. Mm -hmm. You know, God created all of these things and a very special day to enjoy all of this is on the Sabbath. That's right. You know, and after God made all of these things, what did he do? Anybody know what he did after he made all of the, all of... Well, he rested. He did he rested. rest. He rested. And what day did he rest on? The seventh day. The seventh right. day, and that's very important because when we worship him and when we take the seventh day to remember that he's our creator, we're honoring him. Because right. that's the day he told us to do that. Look at you, mm -hmm. you are flying through that, okay. And then if you wanna put in some background or whatever you wanna put in here. And I kind of cheated at the end of this one because on my program I was able to make some automatic quick bubbles. But I see you, you can draw in your bubbles. You don't have the, <laughs> you're not able to do it um, quite the way I did it, but that's okay. Nice, nice. And the boys and girls, I hope that are watching today can tune in for our next episode because then they will see your completed drawings. And please, boys and girls at home, please, please, Take your drawings that you do and go to our YouTube, no, our Facebook group. Facebook group, Three Angels for Kids, and post that so we can see yours as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap up our drawing so that uh, you can tell them what we're about That's to right. do. That's right, It's so exciting. It's so wonderful that God gave us the Sabbath to enjoy. He created this beautiful world, then he rested and he gave us the Sabbath to enjoy his creation. Would I want you to see something very special that I used in my classroom. I did this in my classroom and my family, my family did this to honor the Sabbath and we called it the Sabbath celebration. And we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to set up the classroom and then we'll be right back, okay? All right. All right, boys and girls, 
Remember when I left and said I was going to set our classroom up? Very special? Yes. Well, we're going to be talking about the joy of the Sabbath. So I wanted to do something very, very special. Now there is a commandment that talks to us about the Sabbath. Do you, t can you tell me what commandment that is? Where we learn about the Sabbath? The fourth commandment. The fourth commandment, Kylie, that's right. The fourth commandment. Do you think you could say that with me? Sure. Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day, day to keep, keep it holy. It holy. Six, Six days shall thy labor, labor and do all thy work. work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. All right, we talked about the seventh day. Hmm, that reminds me about what we've been talking about when we look at the three angels and especially angel one. Angel one talks to us about what? The creation. The creation, God creating our world. We're going to review the creation week. I have some candles here and we know that who is the creator of all? Jesus. 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 So I'm going to turn on a candle that represents Jesus and another light's going to come on too to represent that first day. What did Jesus create on the first day? Yes. Light. Yes, Don. Great, Don. He created light on the first day. You know, we said that the, when you read the Bible, it says that the world wasn't even here was well, without form. That means it wasn't here at all. <laughs> it was just darkness. And the very first thing, Jesus created light. And it, it amazes me because when I think of Jesus, I think of light anyway. Jesus is the light of the world, right? Okay, what did he create the second day? Somebody like to tell me what he created on the second day? Air in the atmosphere. Oh my goodness, two. All right, air, the atmosphere, the clouds, the sky, that's right. Mm -hmm. When you look up into the beautiful blue sky, I love days where the sky is always blue and <laughs> <laughs> bright and sunny. God did that on the second day. What about the third day of creation? Yes. I think the land and the plants. That's right. The land, the trees, the grass, the flowers, beautiful colors God created on that day. And you know, when I think about flowers, I love it because there's such a wide variety. You see flowers, I went, I visited Hawaii, I saw flowers in Hawaii that I don't even see in Ohio where I grew up. God is amazing. The fourth day of creation. What did God create on the fourth day? He, yes. Uh, the sun, moon, and stars. The sun, moon, and stars. Joseph, you're correct. And how many of you, do you know anything about constellations? Mm. Have you ever looked up in the sky and you see the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper? There's one very special constellation I know that my dad told us about, and that was Orion's Belt. Mm. Ah. And I remember him telling us about, he said, when Jesus comes, he's going to come right through there. That was just so awesome. But the sun, moon, and stars, that's correct. The fifth day, Jaron, can you help us with the fifth day? What did God create on the fifth day? He created the animals that swim in the sea and the birds that fly in the air. Correct. Oh my goodness, animals that swim in the sea. You know, we had an episode where we were talking about ocean animals, right? Yeah. Oh, so many different kinds of animals in the ocean. And then of course the birds. My goodness, God is amazing. Amazing, so much variety in this beautiful world. And he did it for whom? For, for us. us. Because he loves us, he created this beautiful world for us. So now we're on the sixth day. What did God create on the sixth day? 
Yes. I think the land animals and humans. You're right. <laughs> You're right, Joseph. The land animals and Adam and Eve. That's correct. From day one to day six, you can just see there's a pattern. You know, when I think about creation, I said, it's amazing. God didn't create plants until there was a sun so that the plants could live, photosynthesis and everything could take place, right? God is amazing. So it'd be terrible for us to have the animals here, no grass or anything. <laughs> so you can see how God is a God of order. Now, notice we have two lights that aren't lit, correct? We're going to leave those lights for something very special in our next episode. We're going to leave those two lights but today we did cover day one through six. And remember, that reminds us of the first angel's message. Can we say that again? The first angel's message? Do you know that? I know you said that. I've heard you say that on one of the other <laughs> episodes. What does it say? Fear God and, and give him glory for, for the hour of his, his judgment, judgment has come. come. And we worship him who made the heavens the earth, the seas, and the springs of water. Amen. Now, as we think about the joy of the Sabbath, and that's what we're talking about today, as we think about that, is there anything special you might do, your family might do to bring in the Sabbath? I know, I know sometimes, sometimes we might eat something different, <laughs> something special for a Sabbath or play a special game or a special activity. Have you, do, is one person, can one person give us an idea of something that they, yes, Kylie. Well, sometimes we like have vespers and we yeah. sit in a circle and like we play all different instruments oh, for like what? half an hour. Oh, oh, that's yes. wonderful, that's beautiful. Well, we'll get more involved in Sabbath worship in our next episode. It's time right. for our prayer and then all right. we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, well, let's bow our heads so we can pray. Our dear, kind, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your creation, for your love for each one of us, and for the Sabbath. We look so forward to worshiping you every Sabbath. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Time to go, but remember to eat healthy, get good exercise, say your prayers, and get a good night's sleep. We'll see you next time with Three Angels for Kids. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs>